Taurus, welcome to your weekend reading from March 25th through March 27, 2022. My name is Brandon Tobias. Welcome to our channel, Science of the Soul and Stars. Uh, my goal is to help you find your greatest purpose in love and in life. That means uniting with your divine counterpart and or twin flame if you're on that journey and stepping into your greatest purpose so you can change the world. Let's go ahead and get right into the reading without further ado. Opening this ceremony here and now through the power of unconditional love, guides and angels. We're asking for guidance for the sign of Taurus for the weekend ahead, March 25th. Through the 27th, what does Taurus need to know for the greatest and highest good in this particular moment in love and in life? Let's go for it. By the way, Taurus, if you haven't noticed already, this is a growing community of like-minded souls on the journey for the greatest purpose. You can subscribe to the channel if you'd like. Uh, I would appreciate it and join the soul family. And I would appreciate it if you also like the video. I just saw something flying by, like an orb or something, so your guides are definitely here. As well as feel free to comment below. We have an extended reading available as well in the description box if you are interested going over the other person's perspective. Now, this ceremony is officially about you, what Taurus needs to know. Judgment Day. There's a big decision happening, a big reconciling, a big purification, a big shift or change in the output of your energy moving forward after this particular weekend. This is a big weekend of destined karmic action realizations and change in your life and the lives of many others this is not just about you Taurus although this is your personal reading but this is going to be a big collective reckoning is what I'm getting for this weekend ahead in particular eight of pentacles it's going to change the way you think the way you work the way you love the way you ah, I was going to say something but <laughs> I think you guys know where I was headed with that starts with an F ends with a K star card with the eight of swords with the devil card okay so this has to do with a big realization of something that you didn't know about beforehand that's coming up to be revealed about the truth, either in your life or the lives of all of us around you. Um, it's going to put you more in alignment with what you're here to actually do, where you're supposed to be, how you're supposed to see things in this particular portion of your life upcoming. Something that you couldn't see before, but now you are choosing wholeheartedly to see in this current moment. That's going to guide you forward. Three of Swords is going to break your heart. It's going to hurt a little bit. There's going to be a little bit of pain involved, but that pain is going to help you rebuild the foundation of who you are and where you're going from here. It's going to inspire you, Ten of Cups, to move forward and to let go of any uh, pain from the past or historical lies, deception, or illusion that has held you back from fully believing in your journey. There's a part of you that maybe doesn't fully believe in who you are, how powerful you are, what your powers are, and what you're capable of doing and being moving forward. And I'm here to help you awaken that in this moment. You have to know just how beautiful and powerful you are to change the world. Actually, people rely on you. People need to rely on you. They will rely on you to be a rock for them, to be a guide for them high priestess is in the middle here to help combat the darkness that is existing in the world taurus it's your time to step up it's your time to start to lead it's your time to start to see things and guide from an inner place of strength and realization and power that will help people see through the darkness and their own darkness generally okay ace of swords speaking the truth there you go speaking the truth and continuing on or beginning a new journey of self-empowered action that's going to be here for the long term for you to use your gifts your talents your skills and your love to shift things in a positive way and you might be asking well how do i do this brandon what do you mean by this and i say to you here and now taurus if you're watching this looking inside okay and asking your gut asking your soul what is it that i know deep inside in this moment moving forward from this weekend and beyond that i can share with the world that will genuinely positively impact their lives even if it's not really something of substance yet or i'm not really receiving anything tangibly for that yet or i don't really know if there's a path or a track forward what is it i can share inside that will help people genuinely that's all you got to know and that thing will help to clear the minds and brains and hearts of people is what i'm hearing that will help empower them for the path forward hierophants power greatness influence this is what's ahead of you for you taurus should you continue on this track okay and in love and in life there's a potential to build a very healthy and strong foundation of you with someone else now or in the future for an amazing life and a life of leadership and influence 
in a positive way. Togetherness, temperance is here as well, so it might require a little bit of time to get there. Things are still under development. This weekend is a big stepping stone or a big portal I just heard to getting into that particular state, but it is here for you and it is going to rock your world. Everything you've ever wanted is just around the corner. It's just ahead. It's just above. I know you've probably been told that a lot, but this time, in particular, Nine of Cups with the High Priestess is saying to me that you've been doing a lot of inner work, a lot of inner realizations, a lot of inner strength work as well, and been very generous with yourself, your energy, and your time, and that is here to be rewarded. Okay, moving forward, hangman, but be patient. Uh, all that you want and more is just around the corner, but it will take time to get there. Four of Cups, money, uh, money, Four of Cups and money. I said four, money with Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, uh, Four of Cups, and Death card, the death of any fears or concerns related or things you had to do that you didn't want to do. Four of Cups here related to money is coming to an end. That's what I'm hearing. Anything that you thought you needed to do that you didn't want to do, that you had to do anyways, just for money is what's coming to a big end for you, Taurus. And that is what's going to set you free in a big way to help empower people because you have a lot greater gifts going on than that. Four of Wands, wow, Nine of Cups and the Seven of Cups. The, the, the possibilities in love right now and in life are endless. They're going to be opening up in a big, big way um, if you're wanting to get even more steady and certain and on track towards a destined partnership or relationship. I see that happening. If you want a renewal between you and someone you're already with, I see that happening. And or if you want a, uh, a new renewal of or an, an, an invigoration and invigoration when it comes to love and romance coming into your life and you're single, I see that as well. Okay, although in a an empowered and optimistic energy as well. Final three cards of advice, three of wands. Seven of Wands and Page of Pentacles. Um, you're going to be asked to go down a new path after this weekend. A new path where you're going to be asked to contribute and to fight and to be strong in who and what you are and what you stand for and to speak up, to speak your truth and to change all the lives of others. This weekend, you will never be seen or heard from the same in the same way. People won't see you in the same way and you're going to, you're going to step into something that's meant to change many lives. If you're watching this, right, this is a confirmation. You're going to be stepping into something that's much more empowered than you've ever felt before. And what's in the background here, Seven of Pentacles, is not being satisfied with who you are, what you're doing, or what you're, how you're making money, potentially. All that's going to change here. Five of Swords, yep, and Three of Cups. So, um, resentment and dissolution of, uh, res a dissolution of resentment, right? and anger and uh, sadness from your past that's held you back from really being present with who you are and what you have in front of you now is what's going to be let go of and released in a big powerful way uh, but uh, in its place as well i see a much more dedicated empowered and energized focus and I see you stepping into something that you maybe will surprise yourself and others around you with how just how powerful and amazing it is and what you become. Um, but Taurus, uh, the only advice I have for you here at this particular moment is don't give up. Continue to look within for the answers as to where to go and who to be. Those things will arise naturally this particular weekend. You don't have to worry about that. All those things are going to come up. And you're going to know exactly what it is that you were meant to be in this world should you be brave enough and willing to face the fears as well as the decisions that uh, appear to you this weekend about who you will be and who you are stepping forward into. So, Taurus, hope this was helpful. This was your weekend reading for 25th through the 27th. A couple things I want to share with you. There's an extended reading in the description box below. We will be going over the Divine Masculines or your other person or the other person's perspective, how they currently feel towards you. If you're interested in that, check the description box below. Uh, I also offer personal readings and one-on-one -on -one sessions as well as spiritual coaching containers. Now, what does that mean? Well, you and I develop a relationship over the long term where I help you become spiritually empowered, release anything over a period of time that is holding you back from stepping into your purpose and i help you find your purpose what you're here to do on earth as quickly as i possibly can i catalyze and increase the speed at which you're able to step into your greatest sense of mission and purpose here on earth if you're interested in that you can check my website in the description box below brandon 
finally we have a twin flame workshop this is the last day the last chance you're going to have to join myself and my divine feminine paola we're hosting a two-day six-hour total workshop uh, this weekend tomorrow saturday and sunday where we're going over how to come into union with your person how to heal specific exercises on what you can do in your own life to speed up the union or the uh, coming together process what our experience has been as true twin flames before and after coming into union and of course using our powers to hold both a channel meditation from paola and a live healing and entity removal exercise from me so you can clear all those cords see clearly and re uh, re uh, um, come out of that workshop renewed refreshed and uh, abundant moving forward so if you're interested in that tickets can be found in the description box below finally i do have a ter weekly tarot workshop where a bunch of us come together and i host a weekly workshop where i teach you week by week how to learn and read the tarot until you feel confident enough to be reading for others and you don't need me anymore that's my goal to get you reading as proficiently as possible week by week so you can check that out in the description box below if interested taurus thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the extended and bye for now